God is infinite. When we love God, we love everything he has created. If we are resentful to someone or to something else, we are resentful towards God. To have knowledge is to be connected to God. If we do not have an infinite love and understanding of the beauty of the universe, we are ignorant. We are ignoring the beauty of what God has created for us. These are the ideas of Nicholas of Cusa uh, from the book, The Vision of God. It's a hard book to understand at first. It is more like a soliloquy, a poem, if you will. Uh, it was written in the 1400s, the 15th century. So that's why it can get a bit trippy. He's basically just talking a lot about, you know, what is God? Um, you know, God is infinite. God is beyond our senses, beyond our understanding and comprehension. And when we connect to ourselves and we sort of surrender to the idea that there is a higher power, this higher power can guide us and lead us to a more beautiful and loving life. I'm going to read a section here to open up your heart and your mind to the beauty of the world, to the beauty of God. This is very short and sharp chapters. I'm going to read from chapter four, that the gaze of God is called providence, grace, and life eternal. Thou dost not, Lord, permit me to conceive by any imagining whatsoever that thou, Lord, lovest aught else more than me. Since thy regard leaveth not me, me only, and since where the eye is, there is love. I prove by experience that thou lovest me because thine eyes are so attentively upon me, thy poor little servant. Lord, thy glance is love. And just as thy gaze beholdeth me so attentively that is never turneth aside me, even so it is, is it with thy love? And since tis deathless, it abideth ever me and thy love. Lord, is naught else but thy very self, who lovest me. Hence thou art ever with me, Lord. Thou dearest me not, Lord, on all sides thou guardest me, for thou, for that thou takest me most diligent, for that thou takest most diligent care for me. When you expand your awareness and you're grateful for the gaze of God upon you. You love him for taking care of you, for creating everything, which is what a beautiful, beautiful world we can live in to be watched over and looked after this higher power who has created and designed everything for you to help you love yourself love others and love God. That's the the Trinity. You know, there's, there's God, there's Jesus, and there's man. God created Jesus to show us that it is possible. Jesus connects with us and shows us to love ourselves. When we love ourselves, we love God. God creates Jesus. It's, it's a beautiful Trinity. And God is on all sides, thou guardest me. Thou takest most diligent care for me. When you love, it's not so much about loving God, this, this placing the love outside of yourself. It's more about you won't be able to love God unless you love yourself. You won't be able to love yourself unless you love God. You won't be able to love others unless you love yourself and you love God. So it's just opening your mind, expanding your awareness, your spiritual understanding of these, the concept of God and interpreting, like just how beautiful is that? He guardeth me on all sides. Like you are protected when you 
embrace the love in your life. So I am at the beginning of my journey in mysticism and theology, even spirituality, really. I'm looking forward to researching more into St. Augustine, Meister Eckhart, getting more into the uh, the deep religion and spirituality. I'm just at the start of my journey. So please follow along with me. If you have any comments or videos on Nicholas of Cusa on these concepts of God, please let me know, comment them. And may the Lord, may the, may the love of the Lord be with you or whatever they say. <laughs> have an awesome day. Thank you for watching. Uh, yeah, let me know in the comments if there's anything you would like to add. Um, what did I get right? What did I get wrong? And I'll see you in the future. Subscribe.